Hey Tony, it's Friday. It is still Friday. It's just, you know, 1130 on a Friday. <laughs> um, so first off to answer your first question of the week, which we already discussed, I'm not planning on punishing you. Call it payback for my 30 minute long video from, uh, from a month and a half ago. And my, and to answer your second question, I don't really have many thoughts on young psychology, though Jay, who is a psychologist, says that it's basically crack crackpot theories and things like that. It doesn't really have a lot of, uh, uh, isn't particularly applicable to modern day. I don't have any thoughts on it because I took a singular psychology class back in high school, so I'm by, I don't know much about it, but apparently the psychology, the person with a psychology degree has opinions on it. <laughs> um, so... What I want to talk about this week is not is more that like not a lot happened. It's it was just another week in quarantine. Um, it felt about the same. The biggest change this week is I had to get a car. I had to get a tire replaced in the car on Wednesday. I think was when it was. Again, much like in my last video, time is absolutely meaningless. But otherwise, it's just the same old, same old as it's been for the past month and a half in which disease, we get disease numbers. Lots of people get sick. Lots of people pass away. Uh, President Trump says something overwhelmingly stupid, and we just continue, continue it day by day. Obviously, the big one this week was how he said that maybe if you inject a disinfectant into your body, that could kill the disease. And that's just... He walked back his comments earlier today saying that, oh, he was actually just being sarcastic. But I, my issue with that is whether he was being sarcastic or not, it wasn't obvious that he was. He didn't, so people actually thought that was true. And that is dangerous in many ways. Namely, the first one is there are a lot of people who get a lot of their information from the president's broadcasts. And if he brought that up saying, oh yeah, inject disinfectant, that, that'll, kill the, that'll kill the disease. And my concern is that people are actually going to do that. You know what happens when, dis when disinfectants go into your body? You usually die or have really severe, severe, severe side effects. And it's, it's more than a little bit concerning, whether he was being sarcastic or not, that the phrase even came out of his mouth during a televised briefing. Because... I mean, there are people who that's where they get their information from, are, are the briefings. Now, I think that's a really bad place to get information from because there's so much going on, so much misinformation. But that's how it is during any national emergency. Your elected leaders are going to provide some mis are going to provide in a lot of cases misinformation that helps push their point. And we've just hit a whole new level in the Trump presidency of false information. I'm sorry, not false information, alternative facts. And it's just, it's absolutely mind-boggling to me and absolutely concerning that people are actually going to take this at face value. Now, I was talking to a friend and I obviously had concerns of whether or not like, had there not been a universal backlash for what President Trump said the other day, then I don't think he would have walked back those comments. Because one thing that we've noticed about the Trump presidency is he doesn't care about the facts. He doesn't care about the narrative, really. All he cares about is the ratings, is the views, is the clicks. And that's just not a sustainable way to be, uh, to be an elected officer. I mean, he is the most powerful elected elected official in our country, and it's just it's concerning. It's terrifying that our highest elected official has not only does he have a really loose relationship with the truth, he also thinks he knows better than the experts, and that's that's how people die. The experts are experts for a reason. They've studied, they've studied it, they've gone through the classes, they've worked in it. In order to be considered an expert, you have to know what the hell you're talking about. And someone who is not an expert, who has not had that same type of training, is absolutely not going to know what, is not going to know better than the experts. And it's just, 
it's so aggravating and so frustrating and it makes me concerned for the future is this is this a harbinger of things to come are our elected officials in the future going to disregard experts in that case are they going to make decisions based on whims i i don't know where we're going to end up with that but i do know as an expert is an expert for a reason i'm by no means an expert in constitutional thought but i know more than most other people so i have people who pop up on facebook who claim to be experts in constitutional claim to be constitutional scholars when they've read like the second amendment that's about it that's frustrating because i've had to study it i've had to study the jurisprudence of it and i'm again not an expert but i know more than your average person and the fact that people are with no experience who say oh yeah i did the research when it's like you know oh yeah i looked over things for an hour maybe two or watched a 10 minute video and that's the research because that said everything i needed to that's not how it works. You are not an expert in something because you saw a video or because you read, you read an article, you read a book about it. You're an expert when you study it regularly and when you work on it, when it is basically your area of focus. Like, it, it frustrates me when people just completely disregard experts, completely disregard your scientists and think, oh no, I know better. I know better than their climate scientists. The climate's fine. There's snow on the ground. Therefore, yeah, we're not having global warming. And it's, these are all high level discussions and high level thoughts that your average person is just not going to know. Now, I'm, consider me a person who thinks that people are experts in specific things. And a lot of people are experts in a lot of things. Meaning like, Meaning they, one person knows an awful lot about one subject. Like for me, I would argue, say I'm potentially could be considered an expert in like Western Massachusetts housing law because I did it for so long. But even then I wouldn't necessarily, I don't think I've had, I have the experience or the knowledge needed to be an expert. And the fact that my four or five years of experience doesn't make me think I'm qualified makes me even more think that someone who spent 10 minutes researching something shouldn't be made shouldn't be calling the thoughts and sh shouldn't be call calling the shots and shouldn't be saying that they know better than the experts so tony my question for you is what do you think you what do you think you could potentially be considered an expert in tony i'll see you on wednesday later bro